So when is something a sign and when is something an infestation? Let's talk about that one today. So this video is about signs from the gods. When is it a sign and when is it something I need to deal with? <laughs> so what happened is that I um, saw that there was somebody who had a question. They wondered if it was a sign from the gods. They noticed that around their home, all of a sudden they had ants everywhere when ants were never noticed in the home before. Was that a connection to a god? Or was that what? What was that? And then I've also seen in the past where certain things catch on fire and sometimes the wind will blow <clears throat> and someone's statue would fall off their altar and break. Is Athena mad at me? Things like that. So when is it a sign? And when is it just life? So the gods do send signs to people. But we can also become very paranoid when it comes to that. That we'll see something strange or something will happen that we feel like might be an omen. That the gods will be mad at us. That the gods are mad at us. Or that the gods are really seriously trying to get our attention. I think that whenever the gods really want to send us a sign that it will be obvious. That we would know for sure the connection and be like, that's it. Because certain things will happen when you're thinking on it, when you have a prayer. But you'll just know. And if you don't know, you can do a divination or do like a tarot on yourself or oracle. Or get someone that you know that you trust to do an oracle or tarot or divination of some kind. And uh, ask the gods. And see if that was a sign. But don't let nature take over your house thinking that it is a god or goddess trying to talk to you. If you have ants like crawling over everything... If you have roaches coming from out of the walls, I would you might want to get that taken care of because that's not necessarily a sign from the gods. And just know that not everything is a sign from the gods as well. Just because something happens out of the, out of the air, out of the thin, whatever you want to say, that doesn't necessarily mean there's a divine connection to it. Because like I said, life happens. Sometimes the wind will blow and it'll knock something over and then it'll break. And it just happens to be one of your altar statues. That happens. Um, sometimes it'll be hot during the summertime and you'll get ants in your house. That's not necessarily a god or goddess. That's just the type of season it is. And maybe you might need to look into putting up your food a little better. Or look into where they're coming and stop that before they take over your house. That kind of thing. So not everything's a sign. But some things can be a sign. But I think when the gods want to give us that sign, it becomes more obvious than just having ants crawling all over your bed and on in your food and all that stuff. That's not really a sign to me. I, like I said, I think I say it's going to be more obvious. And if you ever had a question about signs, you would look into it by prayer and uh, possibly even divination with yourself or a friend or someone tr trusted. Anyway, guys, I hope this helped you out. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.